Rich Piana 5150. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I just want to do a re review today on this Rich Piana's 5150. Now, I think I did a review on this several years ago when I was not good at reviewing. I've always liked Rich Piana. I followed him a lot when he was getting big. I had always followed supplements and seen which ingredients supplements are using, what's like the new dose that everybody's using. So when Rich Piano was coming out with his supplements, almost every decision that he made, I really, really enjoyed. And he was actually doing some groundbreaking stuff for the time. Since then, a lot of people have had a chance to copy or recreate their own version. So this isn't as intense and as crazy as it was when it was first released. I think Rich Piano was one of the first persons to put three to four grams of citrulline in a product. Ever since then, everybody does that i mean it's kind of like a new common thing he literally was setting himself apart by putting those ingredients in there as soon as everyone else saw that that was a successful plan they all did the same thing so the main product the main selling point of this is that it has eight kinds of caffeine it is a heavy stem pre-workout i want to say too because of the heavy food coloring and the high uh, caffeine content i never really took one full scoop to me i don't mind taking 400 milligrams of caffeine but i don't want to take it at once that's really going to zap my body I just really can't handle it. So this still is a very effective formula because it has so much caffeine, you could kind of tailor your dose. And if you wanted to put a splash of this in some other drink, you're getting eight little types of caffeine that really provide a unique feeling. Most of the times I prefer products that have multiple forms of caffeine because it prevents the crash. You get some forms that are kind of fast acting and some that are slow acting. So it's a very an even feeling. When I show this to people and they see the eight kinds of caffeine, they get afraid. But in reality, it would probably feel more balanced to have more types of caffeine. The pros, it has really good doses on everything. I've always been a fan of choline and I've been a fan of tyrosine. He has 750 grams of N-acetyl L-tyrosine. Now N-acetyl is the stronger form of tyrosine. I think he was the first guy to put this much in there. I just absolutely love it because tyrosine is just only good effects, all natural. It kind of has a stimulant effect, but it's not a stimulant. It's just gonna provide a great feeling and a great backbone to anything. And when you have that stronger kind at 750 milligrams, it's just a fantastic blend. I think that's what he did with Kill It as well. Like I love the feeling of choline, especially when you have a lot of caffeine. Choline just kind of gives you the zened out, focus kind of feeling, similar to L-theanine. I would almost say it's a little anti-anxiety and a little bit relaxing, but it also apparently has focus too. I don't really feel extra focused or cracked out from it. I just feel generally pretty good. Now he does use choline bitartrate, which is the cheapest form of choline, but he still uses 500 milligrams, which is a very, very solid dose, which I appreciate. I think choline helps your skin too. It's just a very, very good supplement. The main strong point of this one is the multiple forms of caffeine. It does give it a unique feeling. If you're trying other supplements and you come to this one, you probably haven't tried things with eight forms of caffeine. And I just like that there's no supplement that's going to have more types of caffeine than this one. If you try any supplement that has caffeine, this will probably have its own feel because of those eight types. Well, let's jump into the cons of the supplement. So this has heavy food coloring. I really do not like any anything with artificial food coloring. I find that if I take a lot of it, I feel kind of anxious and depressed. If I take a little bit, I'm fine, but I just really do not like the feeling of lots of food coloring. This one has a lot. I mean, I barely put any in my drink and it just fills up with red. My body does not work well with food coloring. I can handle a little bit, but definitely not a strong amount and I prefer none. They have the option of putting none in there and they have the option of putting a vegetable source, which will actually be good for you instead of red number 40. That one is a huge con. Like I bought this like a year ago and as soon as I saw how red that made my drink, really I bought two of these and I gave one away and I'm just now kind of using this again because I ran out of my other stuff. So I've been very kind of conservative, mainly because of that food coloring. I just personally don't like it. Wish he would take it out, because especially because Rich seems to avoid any of the extra fillers. So I just don't understand why he did this. I think if this supplement came out nowadays and he saw how many people are going colorless, he would probably make this colorless too. And this, I would recommend this supplement 100% if it had no colors, but because of the colors, I'm kind of in the middle. This uses B12 as cyanocobalin, which cyanocobalin turns into cyanide 
in your body and this has a high dose of B12. So you're gonna get a higher dose of cyanide in your body. There is a healthier B vitamin that he could have used besides this, this one that turns into cyanide. It's called methylcobalin. I kind of wish he had put that one in here, especially because he's gonna put this high dose. You're gonna put this high dose of a B vitamin that turns into cyanide. It's like, if you're gonna put the cyanide one in, just put a little bit. I don't want you to put tons of it in there. You know, if you're gonna put tons of it in there, put the one that's not cyanide, that's just me. And he has two kinds of B vitamins. I love B vitamins in any sort of pre-workout, any sort of focus blend B vitamins. You just absolutely have to have them. He only has two different kinds of B vitamins in here, but he has them, so I appreciate it. Not as insane as a groundbreaking as when it first came out, but again, because of those eight types of caffeine, because of the high dose of N-acetyl tyrosine, because of the choline, this is just gonna feel so bomb and unique no matter really what you throw it up against. And then the last thing on my cons is that they use choline bitartrate, which is the cheapest kind. But again, I've used choline bitartrate a bunch of times and it seems to be just as effective as something like alpha GPC. I haven't tested them enough, but it would be nice to have a more higher quality version of choline. But to be honest, this is such a stack supplement. It was probably getting expensive as it is and not choline bitartrate is fine. This is still a very, very, very solid pre-workout. I really, really enjoy it. It kind of has turned a little bit into a bare bones pre-workout in the newer ages because everybody's kind of maxed out the, their doses and everything. Like I said, the tyrosine is a little high, which I appreciate. And then the multiple forms of caffeine is really unique. The main thing is that multiple forms of caffeine is gonna give this a unique feel. I still think this is a top tier pre-workout. I still think this is something you to throw in. And if this didn't have the heavy red food coloring, I would say this is almost a must have in any supplement blend. But if you have one that you recommend more than this, I'd be very interested to see down below. And if you tried like Kill It Reloaded, I'd be very interested to see. Do you like food coloring? Do you not like food coloring? Do you not care? I'd be very interested to see down below. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.